didn't have any tea today and I'm not gonna make any more. Why? Because it's 3 freaking a.m. Actually, no, it's 3.25 a.m. I'm gonna do a sit to sit mod. Yes, what the freak am I thinking? I said to myself just um, like two nights ago that I'm not gonna have any more late nights, but here I am again. Now, sit to sit is a way of having two sits in your Commodore 64. Now what will happen is you have to have two of the same sits according to the official documentation. You have you cannot mix the sits, you have to have two of the same. You use that with the Messiah cartridge which is here. It's a Messiah cartridge here. It's got the entire software here. The music making software inside here. Uh, along with a MIDI in. And this will give your Commodore 64 six channels to work with, six audio channels. Normally the set just has three audio channels. Okay, this is standard, but I want to mod this thing and uh, so that it takes two different sets. So set one is going to be 6581 and set two is going to be 8580. And uh, not only that, and that's going to be tricky because they have two different voltages. Uh, the older SID 6581, uh, it takes 12 volt DC, and the 8580 uh, SID takes 9 volt DC. So there's going to be two different voltages here, and I'm going to have to sort that sort a solution out for this. The standard Messiah mod, which has uh, six channels, as I um, explained earlier on, I'm going to have a switch that switches it from you know, the, the messiah mode, but also when you flick it the other way, it goes on to pseudo stereo. So it kind of has, you're gonna have um, each SID, this is gonna be the left channel, your left ear, or that's gonna be your right ear, or the other way around. <laughs> now I have written my circuit diagram here, I've drawn my circuit diagram I should say, let's just finish this little thing off. <laughs> Just like with my palette. Okay, so here is my circuit diagram for exactly what I'm gonna do tonight, or tonight or this freaking morning. And uh, I have to say, many thanks to Gadget UK164 for this. I will uh, leave a link to his channel and his video in the description, so you know you will get more information. Also, do check out his other videos. He does uh, mods and um, you know computer and console repairs and mods and things like that. So you know. To check out his videos too. Okay, so what I've done here is I have included his circuit diagram here, his um, mod here, and um, except I've added a mod select switch, which uh, selects the CS, uh, the chip, sec chip select of uh, SID2, selected either to, you know, this, this circuit here which makes it into pseudo stereo or if you flick it on this side it will go into the standard sit to sit messiah mode so you know you have a choice between the two and there's a switch which you can select either way which will be fantastic because you know you can both are useful you know to me so and also the um what i've done here is i've added a 7809 voltage regulator that um, will be the power source for SID2, which is the 8580, you know, takes 9 volts in. So this, you put in 12 volts, 9 volts comes out and goes in here. So I will be doing that as well. In fact, what I'm going to do is build that on all this circuit, all this, on a separate board. Yeah. You know, I think it's best just to do it because I don't want to, you know, add freaking bits here and there. I just want to do it properly on a separate board. So I will just keep it nice and tidy. Okay, so when you get the sit to sit board, it's just the board. There's no components that are included with it. You have to get a separate component pack, which goes with this. And that, I got it from eBay. I'm not sure if they still do them or not. You can see the sit to sit. This is not going to be as straightforward because obviously I'm doing mods to this. Uh, it's not just like, you know, I'm taking it out, putting it on here. No, I'm doing something different. Uh, actually, it would be much easier if I was just doing the standard, but no, I'm not. Okay, so that's nice. It's nicely labeled. You have um, the capacitors. Uh, yeah, the SID, the different SIDs, 6581 and 8580, they both use different the filter capacitors. So, you know, we need to use the right ones for that. This is the main 
components for the main board here, this stuff here. So, uh, and of course, SID one just parallels directly to, you know, it just goes directly to the circuit board. Okay, so this comes with an audio jack, but this is a mono audio jack. And I'm not going to find any use for this because this is for the standard set to set. So that is going to be scrapped. What I'm going to use instead are two RCA jacks. So it's going to be like a stereo output. One of them is going to be set one, other one's going to be set two. So let's put that there and we'll sort that out afterwards. Okay, so basically with this, the part that's got no text, uh, you insert this in set one. The holes for set one like this. Okay, so this basically goes into your motherboard like that and it plugs into there and you have your original sit there and you have the filter capacitors and things like this on your motherboard for the first sit so you don't have to worry about that. However, uh, the second one, the second sit, which will be here, oops, this will have the filter capacitors here. But what I'm going to have to do is use the 8580 capacitors on this because this is for SID2, yeah? So I'm doing this, it's gonna be uh, 6581 and that's gonna be 8580. So yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> and I'm nervous because I haven't, I've done so much to the Amiga, but not the Commodore 64. So I'm kind of, um, my first time doing anything major with the Commodore 64, actually, my first mod on the Commodore 64. So, <laughs> 60 SID1, old SID, 6581. Um, has the 12 volt DC going in. This is going to be from the circuit board, and the SID2 8580 is 9 volt. So pin 28 of the SID, yeah, is the voltage in on each of them, of course. You know, it's the same. So let's find first thing what we do is on the circuit board, we don't do any soldering yet. Let's just take this out. Okay, so what we're going to do first here is locate pin 28. This is top view of these and that is the power in. So on the board, pin 28 is going to be this one. So when we flip the board over, it's going to be reversed, yeah? So it's going to be this one. There is a thick trace track going from this pin 28 going all the way here, all the way down here. What the freak? <laughs> yeah, all the way down here, all the way up here. I'm going across here to this pin 28. Now let's double check that. Okay, so this is pin 28 here, and that is pin 28 on SID 2. Yep, that's a connection. Now that connection is going to have to be severed. Of course, that's going to have an alternate power. And that's the difference between SID 1 and 2. You know, you cannot power. If I put 12 volts into SID 2, I've, I've goofed it up because it only takes 9 volts. So I'm going to have to create a separate power, power source for that. And that's, that's where the voltage regulator is going to come in. Okay, I pray that I do this <laughs> correctly. I'm going to sever another part of it here. Because I want to make sure that I've severed the freaking thing. Check and pin 28 does not connect to pin 28. Fantastic. So that's gonna have a separate power source now. This is just me doing this and I'm showing you dude what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm not saying this is how you do it because it's my first time I'm doing it. However, if you're gonna follow me, make sure you, you'd sever this close to the SID2 chip. Don't freaking sever it over here or here or anything like this. Do you know why? Because this com the power comes from SID1 pin, goes all the way here, all the way here, and then goes into this transistor. Because the transistor uses that power. And then it comes here, parallel, and then goes into the SID. So make sure you sever it. Don't sever it here because the transistor will not get the power. You sever it here. Yeah? Okay, you see that top notch there? That notch here that comes here? That is basically the same notch here. So you turn the board around to the part where it's, you know, there's no text on here. And then you put the notch at the top, just like that. But do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this last. I don't know why. Something's just, I'm getting a gut feeling to do this last. Because I don't want to damage these pins or bend them or, you know, goof something up while I'm doing the rest of the thing. So that's last. This I can do first. You know, this goes into sit two. So again, not at the top.
Okay, so each one has been soldered properly. Each one is nice and neat, fantastical. That's all we need. Now, what we need to do is put the components in here and we need to do them from the top side going down. So, let's start with the transistor. Now this dude is a 2N222. 2N222, two 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 two. <laughs> two double two, double two, quadruple two, freaking whatever. Uh, transistor. And this is what you need in here. Okay, so we have our upside down three-legged spider here. <laughs> and um, now can you see on the circuit diagram this arrow here? This arrow here is the emitter. Now, on the transistor you have a base, collector, emitter. Base is always this one, collector and emitter. Now, this one of course is the emitter. Now, how to identify the emitter on this is that you have the little tab. Can you see that little metallic tab here uh, sticking out? Well, the one next to that is the emitter. So, you ha you just oh, that's all you need to know, to be honest. So you just put that one next to the metallic tab, in the emitter here, and you cannot put anything else into anything else, to be honest. we have that soldered in, now we just need to cut the lights off and just continue with the rest of this stuff. Okay, so now the resistors, R8, which is this one here, is 1 kilo ohms, so it's a 1k resistor. Okay, so this, this resistor here is a 10k, and these two are 1k resistors. Find it about the same? Yes, brown, black, uh, red. So, I'm not well versed in um, color codes, by the way. <laughs> I've... Uh, I kind of forgot them because I haven't used them a lot. I just use a freaking meter. <laughs> so we put that 1K in R8. So R12 there is also 1K. These are just, you know, to bias the um, transistor. Okay, so, and then you have R9, which is 10K. 9, which seems like a, actually that seems like a biasing resistor. Because it's going into the, um, into the base of it, I think. So, let's just solder those in and we have that sorted. Let's just, let's just double check. <laughs> let's check out the homage. <laughs> the homage in it. <laughs> so now is the time to put the capacitors in here. And we need to put a capacitor in C74 and C76. Now C74 is a thousand picofarad. And uh, that is freaking capacitor codes, isn't it? I don't like them. But from what I remember and double check capacitor cord 102 is 1000 picofarad so we put 102 capacitor 102 in uh, c74 and then of course c76 is going to be the other capacitor you just solder them in place and there's those capacitors done all in the name of sound this is how much sound is important to me <laughs> And this is how much I love the SID chip and the Commodore 64. So we got the two cushions stuck in there. <laughs> I always call them cushions. The other long ones, I always call them pillows. <laughs> so we have, I think there is um, capacitor C77, which I'm figuring is going to be this um, electrolytic. I don't know why there's an extra transistor in here. What is this? I've just checked the documentation and I've done something wrong here. I just noticed this. Which is a bit stupid, to be honest. Okay, so you have the capacitor here. The uh, capacitor, freaking transistor. It's almost 5 a.m. Transistor here. So you have the emitter, which is at the tab, the closest to the tab. So you have the base, which is here at the top, which is going into the collector here. So this transistor is wrong. This transistor needs to be mounted on the other side? Oh man! Okay, so we have the tab here, which is the emitter. Then we have the base, which is that top one. And we have the collector, which is the opposite to the emitter. Yeah, this is the collector, this is the emitter, the top one's the base. Now, that means we have to set... We have to put it in this way around on the board. Not the other way around. That's freaking weird. There we go. That's done. Freaking weird. 
Okay, so after that, what you want to do is, uh, can you see this electrolytic here with the uh, negative, you know, marked? You have uh, the negative is uh, marked on the board there, as you can see, negative, positive there. Yeah. So we want to put this from the back, ideally. Okay, so all the components on the side are done. Now, what we need to do is do the filter capacitors here. So this and that. Now the SID1 capacitors here, you do not have to put these in because they are already in on your motherboard. However, you know, if you wish to put them in, you have to cut these for, you know, but let's just forget that. There's no point. Just, just keep the ones on the motherboard and, um, you know, leave these ones free. What we need to do here is just concentrate on SID2, which in this case will be the um, 8580. So we need to get the capacitor pack for 8580 here and are they all the same I give four for extra ones thankfully they're both the same so all you need to do is just to come here and it doesn't matter which way around of course so there we go that is now done we have two cushions on top of here <laughs> on top of the sit so yeah sit two that is sit one we obviously will leave uh, free as it is and we're just gonna put this in there and that's all hmm? Now that is a standard sit to sit done. Now after soldering this in, I'm gonna start with my mod. Okay, so we are done here. We have this, which will slot into the um, actual sit here. Uh, sorry, the motherboard. Uh, again, we don't need that if we're going to keep those four pins. So uh, we have the circuitry done here. And this is how you would do a standard sit to sit. Yeah, we, of course, without severing those. It'd be a standard sit to sit. Now, of course, I'm going to continue doing my mod. However, in order to just do the standard sit to sit, the only thing that would be left to do would be to connect uh, chip select, which is pin 8 on sit 2, to pin 7 on the cartridge port, as uh, shown here using a wire that came with it, and then you're basically done. I will continue the stereo sit mod in the next part, so do stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for your likes, your shares, do leave your thoughts in the comments below, and do, don't forget to check out my other videos, and do subscribe for more. For now, I will say adios!